Hi, I'm Ellie Allen, and today I want to point out just how hard it is for a woman to have an opinion or make a decision without getting backlash. For instance, if a teenage girl loves science or math, she is seen as antisocial or too good for her peers by some. If she prefers makeup or clothes over math and calculus, she can be seen as shallow and stupid. Women who want a man are seen as independent, meek ladies who are setting the feminist movement back. If a woman doesn't want a man, she is ridiculed as a prude or a lesbian, and for even more serious issues such as abortion. If she doesn't support abortion, she is seen as a traitor to women by taking away their decision and choice. If she does support abortion, that means she is supporting killing her possible child. And today, that's a big issue, and it's just a mess. As you can tell, it is almost impossible for a woman to have an opinion without getting unwanted feedback. It's a lot like politics, but affects more than just political parties. It affects how women form opinions, how they make decisions, and how they feel about their choices and lives. So how do we combat this conundrum? Well, the most obvious choice is to ignore society's views, sticking it to the man and making your own decisions. However, it can be very hard to ignore society's point of view. History has shown just how fluctuating society's views of the perfect woman is. In many past cultures, such as Grecian cultures, women were often viewed as mothers and wives. However, there are some legends of Amazons, not real people, but based on real people, um, and who would, who, a group run by women and the women were very independent. But they were generally regarded as ludicrous, savage, and uncouth. Not exactly a progressive time for women's rights. However, there were some societies back then that were on the right path. The Spartans, for instance, unlike the Greeks, um, treated women almost equal to men. Spartan men thought that intelligent and strong women would breed better sons. Still a little backwards, but getting there. Women were allowed to own property, given an education, talk about politics, and even <gasps> hang out with men in public. Of course, their Greek cousins, the, ep the epitome of class and culture of the time, thought the Spartans were backward, and their women would never have been allowed to live in such a manner. Another culture that allowed women some rights were the Vikings. Vikings were pretty fierce and savage, but they usually treated women with respect. In many clans, widowed women were allowed to run farms and land and businesses. Also, women were never tolerated uh, when given abuse, and the men also never tolerated abuse or hitting or giving a woman unwanted attention, which usually resulted in a fine or death. They were Vikings, after all. Over the century, women have slowly carved away the walls that have barricaded women from the rights that men enjoy. Today, women can own land, businesses, enter politics, have an opinion, and etc. Little girls are standing up for themselves, and teenage women are exploring the sciences. Women are holding down careers and families, but still, problems occur. Like I said before, society usually has its own opinion on how women should run their lives. Some still believe that women should defer to men living in their shadows as a lower being and still more believe that they should pursue careers in other things, such as a lawyer, lawyer or scientist. They believe that certain products and media can send bad messages. For the people who believe that women should be independent and in charge, Barbie, Twilight, and Justin Bieber are seen as the bane of a feminist existence. For those who will never see women as equal to man, they believe that math and science just aren't a woman's cup of tea and is better off actually serving tea and making sandwiches. Once again, it seems that women can never make an opinion that suits everyone. It's hard to ignore society, but you should. You should do what you think feels right for you. Listen to Justin. Listen to Mozart. I've done both. If you want a career in percent, go and pursue it. If you want to design fashion or be a stay-at-home mom, then ignore the haters and do it. It's your life, and as long as it doesn't negatively affect others, then you should do what you want. Society's views will change, but if you find what you really love or think, then it will be worth it. The end.